Hey everyone. So we got into the weeds in therapy this week and noticed afterwards a huge difference in our ability to respond to getting extremely activated and triggered in therapy year six versus year one. And we wanted to talk about it. Our channel's largely been blog style from the beginning, and you can go back and see post-therapy videos where we're crying in the car, where we're just dysregulated. There's been several times post-therapy we've had to have the hubs come and get us. And um, there is nothing wrong with that. Like we were pursuing healing and that's messy. But it's been a huge sign of healing for us that we got very, very activated in this week's therapy, brought up somatic flashbacks, like as about as triggered as we can get. But post therapy, we were able to get in the car and drive and be okay. And that kind of resilience is new. And frankly, it's like exciting. Um, and so this is going to be like kind of blog style for you um, because there's not a secret recipe for it. It's just us noticing that these years of therapy, of doing the work, is promoting resilience in a way that we never expected. Like we expected, you know, you get triggered and it's it takes a while, especially when you have the kind of trauma that makes a multiple it takes a while to come down from that. We didn't expect that the years of working through that, of learning cooperation, of learning how to feel safe in one's body, even after being activated, would build to such a way that we can experience a high level of activation and without dissociating away from our body, with with being able to still be at home in our body, to be able to go, okay, that was rough. And, and there's a lot of new realizations, but like I'm safe here and now, and I can go about being here and now. And we have said, and multiple times, and I don't, we're on several platforms, so I don't know if we've specifically said it here, but I'm going to say it here as well. We have said that the DID, the multiplicity, let me put it this way. The multiplicity isn't the problem. The PTSD symptoms, the, the disordered level of dissociation is the problem. And like post fusion, we're still in therapy addressing the PTSD symptoms and the, the, the problem. And we still hold that the multiplicity isn't the problem. Like multiplicity can be um, encountered in a functional and healthy way. The PTSD symptoms, however, those are a booger. But we're seeing that as we continue to work and process on that, that we can develop greater and greater resilience. And this is like, honestly, we thought that PTSD, like this is a lifelong chronic thing, you know, like this is always going to haunt us and to see that those symptoms can continue to minimize is amazing and so hopeful and like so much more functional, like, we've seen such an increase in functionality as we've seen a decrease in PTSD symptoms, but to, to see that we can be absolutely triggered and have the kind of resilience to be like, okay, whew, all right. And just go back to being in our body and in our moment is amazing. And so we just thought it was worth sharing. I hope all of y'all know that there's hope. It gets better.